Greetings everyone from Erie, Pennsylvania. I have been selected for a random drug screen. I am on my way to the second facility that they have that the company has here in um, Erie, Pennsylvania. Well, the company doesn't have, but I guess it's on their list. Anyway, the first one I get here, I show up, and they're like, "Yeah, our breathalyzer machine is down." I'm like, "Oh, okay. We should be getting it back Friday." I'm like, "Yeah, I'll call my company." So I call compliance back and they're sending me to another location. It's 13 minutes away. So I'm going to head that way now. It's all part of the job. I don't worry about it. All right. According to my logbook, I was here two hours, eight minutes and 29 seconds. I'm going to pay it overtime for this. All right. Now that that's done, I need to send my traffic manager an email letting her know about the delay of picking up my southbound load. And then we'll do lunch. It's it's now lunchtime. We're ready for lunch now. Breakfast done ward off, and now it's time for, for lunch. So I'll stop at something on my way back to my... I will enter the shipping address into my map and start heading toward my pickup location and, and stop and get some food on the way. Alrighty, that's it. Alright everyone, we made it to Goshen, Indiana. This is what we've got going on. I am hooked to a 36 foot fifth wheel. Shipping weight, 99.57. GVWR, 12,000. Amish just went by. Their buggy's all lit up. Um, it's picking up in Goshen, Indiana, and it is on its way to Concord, North Carolina. It's a brand name I've not heard of before. And so I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce the name right. It's an Eddie Bauer. Oh. I'm walking around the outside and let you see it. I had to open up the unit and go inside because the stereo was blasting like nobody's business. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to have that on the whole trip. So I had to go up in it and slide the living room slide out enough to get to the power control for the stereo which was um, at the far end of the of the living room past the kitchen island and I'm like oh my goodness so we got that all squared away so let me walk you around the outside and um, I have already submitted my pre-trip pictures and then I called control for m my yard exit and my advance the, I'm going to head down to the truck stop or the Amish Walmart and uh, stop for the night. It's late. It's 10 o'clock at night and I'm tired and I don't, I still have three hours of driving time, but I'm tired and I don't want to mess with it. So I'll get a good early start in the morning. And um, so yeah, let's go see the outside. Goshen, Indiana. This is where I stopped and parked last night. 
the yard where I picked up is way yonder over on the other side of that tree, like uh, half a mile away, I think, at least. Let's just say half a mile away. I'm all logged in, ready to go. It's going to be a great day. Do th you two need to go pate one more time before we leave? Do you need to potty? I'm just asking. All right, let's hit the road then. Normally when I mention the potty word, squirt, I mean, Chloe, gets all excited. So apparently they're good to go. So we're all good to go. We made it to the customer. And per the instructions, we are parked out on the street. But it's... Uh, side street and I'm letting the girls run and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be spotted a mile away they're so funny all they want to do is get back in the truck <laughs> alrighty folks it is a good thing that I didn't start to unhook the unit here where I was at because they actually want it across the street. So I'm going to find a place to turn around. I'm by a dragway and so I need to just find a big area of parking lot and, and uh, just turn around and head across the street. So here, let me, let me turn the camera around so you can see where I'm at. I think I see another way out instead of turning around. I can just go. Th thank you, thank you. I'll just go this way. I'm heading to that area up there on the hill. Oh, my traffic manager's calling me. All right, the checker and her dude is checking her in. So, all oh rats! They just pulled the slides back in. I was gonna pop in and see it. But, sorry, that's what I get for snoozing, right? Snooze, you lose. Anyway, I had to hook up my jump pack to get the landing gear to go. Um, my battery wasn't even powerful enough to run the landing gear, so I had to hook up the jump pack. And so I left the jump pack hooked up so that they could slide the slides, which they've got her all slided. <laughs> they've got her all slid back in, so... At this point, it's just a matter of getting my paperwork and I'm out of here. My traffic manager who called me earlier, she's working on getting me back up to Indiana because there's a hot load going to somewhere out east. I don't remember where now, but she's trying to get me there. And so she said she'd call me back when she had all the, the details ironed out. It may fall through, but right now... All right, checker and her dude is done, and I can drive back across the street to get my paperwork, and then I'm on to my next load. I'm already dispatched on a load that's a two-hour drive away, so let me go get my jump pack and um, get my paperwork, and yeah, we got this.